welcome to uh, my show and uh, a little talk about the work. This is uh, Quarantine Meditations, which feels very fitting that I'm talking about this. This is some kind of virtual space that completely encapsulates our current moment. The show also very much encapsulates our moment. This is all work that I've made during the quarantine. Uh, since the end of March, or I guess really early April, the initial onset of COVID, uh, we really all realized how how severe a life change this was going to be. Uh, that was sort of gradual. I feel like first work started slipping away or maybe going on hold. Then uh, buying extra groceries became a thing. School closed temporarily at first. Um, we're sort of seeing people outside. And then, then that was really, then there was really a close down. So at that time, can you try taking this off while well, no one's in the gallery and just see how just see how this goes. Um, so I pretty much moved to Connecticut because I didn't want my daughter to be completely alone in this way she could live with her cousins. And before, before we moved, I, I went to the studio. I had no real plans. Uh, my head was just spinning. And I was trying to process all that was happening, what it was going to look like, what it was going to mean. So I took what I could, really just what I could fit in, in a tote bag and what I knew I could work with on a tabletop. It wasn't going to be messy or expansive. It still took me some time, and I don't remember how long, if it was days or if it was weeks, to make that space to draw. But once I did, it really changed my outlook grounded me in my work. Um, that, that space to draw, that space to make work um, sort of solidified my foundation. And then these drawings here, uh, let's see, are a result of this. I call them quarantine drawings. There's probably about 50 of them, really. And I call them quarantine drawings because, of course, they were a direct, pragmatic outcome of the quarantine, but also because they, I think they very much express the confusion and the attempt to make sense of this pandemic in many senses, like medically, socially, temporally, mentally. So I find uh, there are at once psychological topographies, sort of they try to impose an understanding uh, on confusion or even chaos, and they're also cellular or almost micro micro bodily. So I'm just uh, I was just talking about these smaller drawings, uh, of which I've made quite a few. And um, here we have here we have some of them. Uh, these are all a, made with an ink, a shellac based ink. That I mix with bits of water. Okay, so these are made with um, Sennelier ink, which is one of the oldest man French company manufacturers of this shellac ink. Um, it's very beautiful, it's very viscous, it's very rich, it's very glossy. And um, pigment-based pens, so pens that have a, a metal tip, so the, the line weight never changes. So I use a variety of line weights I think probably um, the changing line weights and this sort of topography uh, harkens back to my time spent studying architecture when hand drawing was, was still used and line weight was incredibly important to suggest um, a cut through, to suggest distance, to suggest you know various opacities and stuff. The drawings really start using using ink, and the ink I would drop on paper. I might manipulate the paper a little bit. A lot of it is just letting the material be what it is, and then responding to that. And um, 
One, because I think that the way it pulls and flows is very beautiful. And then also because, uh, to me, it indicates a little bit of life. I've always worked with um, trying to sort of make sense of or understand in some way chaos or natural processes. I think it's a very human desire to want to, um, to want to have some kind of order, some, some sort of under, like understanding how we fit in relation to whatever natural processes or something that doesn't make sense. And so my work has been um, always grappled with that. And you know, it certainly includes these, so the, the ink, letting the ink flow, letting it cool. I definitely control it to some degree. Um, but I'll let that dictate the beginning of something and let that start to outline the composition. I add water, thick and thin. Um, so the ink is really the start. And then from there, I begin to sort of follow those patterns with pen and this and that and uh, to try to make some sense of what might be a, a larger area or something that's going to be more predominant in the composition or the color. And oftentimes, again, let's see what we can see here, but oftentimes a grid will come into play. And for me, that really represents um, a very regular, a very imposed order, something that we can all, you know, we can all understand. It's very, very rational. Um, of course, neither the chaos nor the pure ration and sensibleness, the grid, neither are, are actual reality. And so I think the meaning of those two things um, really embodies life, my experience, and certainly embodies where we are now, you know, just how does the virus pass on? Do we, you know, do we wear gloves? Do we these various things, some things we've sort of like the gloves, not so much. The masks, everyone is, or I believe certainly should be wearing a mask, um, to which I will say, mine's right here. I'm in the gallery alone right now, and so I'm taking it off because it's easier to speak, but for some of the So let me walk you through a few other works. Um, again, these drawings, these are some, some of the drawings that I've made. And then I guess I'll, I'll say a lot of, well, once September came, school in the city opened up a little bit more. I came back to Brooklyn, um, one, because I wanted to work in the studio, two, because my daughter's school was partially reopening and I felt it was really important for her to be back with peers. So we're back in Brooklyn and I think that some of my um, outlook and my aesthetic response has changed a little bit. So I think that these drawings are, and at the time, were very needed. Um, they were very, they were hopeful happy, in some ways they're an escape from just a time and feelings that were so, so difficult. Um, and I think that coming back to, to the city and coming back to a little bit more engagement with life um, starts to come out in some of the works that I started making once back in studio. Um, this piece here, for example. Um, start working on canvas again. I can start working with materials that I certainly didn't want to use in a home environment, like I didn't nail a sprayed enamel paint or um, really anything sprayed or anything that was going to make a mess, a lot of sanding. So that's one. And um, up here is one. This is one that I really like. It's called Coming Down. Um, I'm not sure how I feel about that title because 
coming down on the sound side. Sounds like a downer a little bit. Um, and I think that painting is a little more beautiful, a little bit more hopeful. But I also think that all of these titles are a little bit, a little bit tough because we're in a tough time. You know, they have to do with the fact that we weren't together, aren't together, and not able to be with people I want. So I miss being with people as we all do. Um, and so I think that the works are expressive of that. I think there was a tremendous amount of loss over the summer because of the pandemic, a lot of lives were lost. Um, because we have really deeply unjust practices no common sense gun laws, and there are so many people, particularly black men, who are murdered. I mean, there was so much sadness. And so I think these pieces um, certainly embrace this idea that art can be a refuge, art can be an alternate, a fierce alternate, but it's not divorced from the reality and sometimes the horror of what. So those are some, some small paintings, and then, let's see, very, very much really with this, uh, these virtual tours, and I'm actually using a selfie stick for Katarina for the first time. So this is, um, here's another painting, this is a little bit larger, it's about four feet by four feet, uh, it's a little bit larger. There's a lot more of the materials I was just talking about in this. I have, you know, the, the ink, which is interesting to use on a different scale. Pen, although I, I had to branch out into some sort of new paint pens and markers. And um, then there's various kinds of paint on there. There's acrylic, there's oil, or hand brush. They were uh, acrylic and enamel with sprays. So there, there's a variety of them. There are a lot of sanding. So I'm really, um, actually, I'm really uh, sort of building up layers and then taking away, which I also is a process I very much like, you know, back and forth. Here's another large piece. This one is called All of the World. Um, this I finished very shortly before the exhibition. Still, still partially just sort of sitting with it, seeing how I feel. Uh, it definitely has a different form than some of the drawings. It's been really, really lovely having this work throughout this time, and it's really lovely having you all tune in, knowing that you're here. Hi. So I'm going to thank everybody for coming. I wish you were all here.